What is going on guys, Paul James here. And in this video, I'm gonna cover three simple steps to get customers into your business or into someone else's business, if you'd like to do this for someone else. Now the reason why I'm filming this video is because I came across an article over on Forbes and it said that nearly half of businesses do not survive the first five years. I think that is insane and really sad. So what I'm doing in this video is I'm hoping to give some insight as someone who's built multiple, multiple businesses that have been really successful and I've had lots of failures too, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm, not everything I've done has been successful, but I've seen kind of both sides of the coin. And with some of the ones that I've done, I've noticed some common trends of the ones that are successful and the different traits that they've had in common. So we're gonna go over those three steps of how to bring more customers in to just about any business. All right, so let's talk about step number one. Step number one is you need to find an offer that is working. When it comes to business, you offer services or products usually, but most people don't think about the actual offer that goes along with that. They normally just slap a price on that service or that product and then just hope that people are gonna buy it. But usually it doesn't work that way. What you wanna do instead is you wanna come up with a hook or an offer to get people into the door of your business to make sure that they keep coming back and keep buying from you. And that is where most people fail when it comes to this. In fact, if you can get this part right, everything else becomes pretty easy at that point. In fact, it could become too overwhelming because you could just get so many customers you don't know what to do with it and you need to start hiring employees and setting up processes and systems. So that's step one and I'm gonna share with you right now if you keep on watching how to find a good offer for your business or for your client's business if you're gonna be doing this as a service for other clients. All right, so on my computer here, this is one of the ways that I like to do it. I like to go on social sites like Groupon, um, you can even go on like Craigslist, you can go on Facebook, and I look at what the other businesses in this field are doing because if we can emulate what's already working and apply it towards our business, then chances are pretty good that we're going to be pretty successful with it without having to take any of the risk. So what you want to do is come to one of these social offer sites like Groupon, type in the city that you're targeting and hit search at the top. You don't have to put any service or whatever. Um, you can if you want. I mean, depends on like if you already have a specific business type, you can do that. But just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna sort by, where it says by popularity here, I'm gonna so sort by top seller. Now what I'm looking for is I'm looking for what offers are doing good. So here's an example, Roots Salon. Now, Roots Salon probably offers a lot of different things. I'm guessing that they, they don't just offer, this is, a, this is for a 60 minute signature facial. I'm guessing that's not all they offer. They probably do, here they do treatments. Um, they probably do, here hair extensions. I was gonna say haircuts, trendy cuts in color. So they do a lot of different things, right? And most businesses, what they would do is they would just, you know, open up their storefront and then put prices on all of the things that they offer and maybe put up like an ad and say, hey, come on in to Root Salon, but they don't really come up with a hook or an offer. And that is where you need to set yourself apart. So this is a hook or offer. They're offering one 60 minute signature facial for $35, 49% off, it's normally $69. And over a thousand people have bought this offer and it has 2,029 ratings, which tells me that they must have other offers on here too that are doing well, and they have good star rating. Now, this is a very, very, probably cheap offer, $35, and I know Groupon off the top takes 50% of their profits too, so they're really only making, you know, about 17 bucks on this offer. So here's the crazy part about this though, is that this company is smart enough to know that if they can take a little bit of a loss up front to get the person through the door, they're going to make money probably for the rest of the time they're in business, for as long as that person lives in the area, because this person's gonna keep coming back, whether it's for more of these signature facials or whether it's for their haircut, their hair color, you know, all the other different treatments that I'm sure that they offer. 
So if you have a business that has you know, recurring services or recurring products that people are gonna keep buying, this is a really good model to emulate because you know, you're know you taking a little loss up front, but then you're getting people through the door. So how can we model a proven Groupon offer like this for our business? Well, that is where step number two comes in. Step number two is that you need to create a landing page that is going to basically be similar to the offer. Now, I use ClickFunnels to do this because I'm not a web designer and I put together something that looks like this when I do this. So I'll put normally the logo of the company up here. I try to put the city name up in the upper right hand corner. Sometimes I'll put a phone number on there and I'll normally put the headline of the offer. So the headline of this offer is you know, are you thinking about doing a renovation but not sure what it might cost? Let us give you a 100% free quote. But in the case of this offer, so if I owned a salon in the area that offered facials, I would be coming into Groupon, I would be reverse engineering, and I would be saying, okay, this company has been successful offering a 60 minute facial at $35, I need to emulate this. So I would make my own page, and right here I would put, you know, claim our signature facial for, 49% off, I'd probably put that on there, and I would probably put just $35, and then I would probably put a form right here for them to schedule. Probably, you know, their name, their phone number, their email address, the day of the week that works best, and the time of day that works best. And it would just be a schedule button. And that would basically be it. I would maybe put some features here of what the facial includes or something like that. Maybe you wouldn't need to do that for a facial, but for some services you might need to, you know, outline some of the details. And from that point, you send them to a simple thank you page. So let me show you what that looks like here in my ClickFunnels account. So just something like this, thank you. Someone will contact you soon about your quote. So that is step two. If you can put together a decent landing page like this, and ClickFunnels makes this really easy. In fact, I'll just show you, um, let's just, for the heck of it, come in and edit one of these just so that you can see how easy ClickFunnels makes it. I have a link in the description of my video as well to a masterclass where I actually show you more details about this entire thing like with this landing page. So if you wanna you know, get a full deep dive of like a whole hour of this stuff, go check out that link. But this is just kind of a quick little demo for you. So basically, you can come in here and you can just totally drag and drop this stuff, which is really nice. So I can come in here and say, um, claim your $35 signature facial today. Boom, that easy. You know, it's just literally customizable. I could change the background image to be something to do with salons, like they have a picture of someone getting a facial. So I could do that on here too by uh, clicking this little gear icon and right here where it says background image I could upload my own background image for something like that um, I don't have an image in here, but I would I would just upload one from like a stock photo site something that I had the rights to upload um, Deposit photos a good option for that uh, Pixabay.com is another good option for that. They offer free stock photos. Okay, so from that point we need to move on to step three. We need to get this offer in front of some eyeballs so that we can actually get people taking us up on this. So I'm gonna share with you a really simple Facebook ad strategy to bring customers into your business as long as you smash that like button for me so that I know that you are loving this video. And also if you're not subscribed yet, drop below and do that too. Tick the bell notification icon and I will update you every time I post a new video. Okay, so you're gonna need to go to business.facebook.com and create an advertising account. I'm inside of my advertising account right here. All you're gonna do is you're gonna come down and hit create on this green button. You're gonna choose an objective. Now the objective we wanna choose for this because we're running a local campaign for a local business is traffic. And traffic campaigns work really, really well. Okay, so I'm gonna say, um, I'll just say roots test so that we can remember what it is. I'm gonna hit continue. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna narrow in on the area. So let's just pretend I was running this for Roots. Obviously, I'd be modeling this for my own business, but they look like they're in Brookfield. Okay, so um, I don't know exactly where they are. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wing it. Um, let's see here. 
I'm going to type in Brookfield, Wisconsin. I'm going to search. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the map. And what you want to do is you want to find exactly where your business is located on this map here. And you want to drop a pin. So let's just uh, drop a pin right here. Let's say this is where we were located. Now what this is going to do is this is going to tell Facebook that you only want to target people who are near your business. I bring this radius way down to like even a couple miles, maybe three miles. And you can also drop more pins and you can create more ads in the future. But I recommend starting small with just like a three mile radius. Okay, and you can see Facebook tells us now that we're going to reach approximately 600 to almost 2000 people a day and we'll probably get anywhere from 15 to 47 people a day viewing our offer. Now if you have a specific age range or demographic in mind, you can type that in here. If you know that your offer is only for men or women, you could put that in as well. I'm just going to leave it wide open. Now this is the cool part. Most people think that you need to like go in and start adding in a bunch of interest and stuff, but for this kind of Facebook ad and lead generation method to bring customers in. This is step three, by the way, running this Facebook ad. You don't need to do any targeting other than what I just showed you with this, with this location. And that's it. No interest, nothing like that. You may want to edit placements. I usually recommend only targeting the newsfeed. Sometimes I'll just go even just mobile because you're capturing people who are on the go. Maybe they're walking past your store location. Uh, it can be a really cheap way to get leads. And I'll just turn everything off then except for the Facebook newsfeed. So I'm gonna turn all of this stuff off except for Facebook newsfeed. Okay, and we can optimize for landing page views, which is fine. That means we actually wanna get people to click the page and view the ad. Um, and they have some other options like link clicks. You could do that too, link clicks is a good one as well. Um, so we'll go with link clicks. We'll choose a daily budget of five bucks. You could start off really cheap with this. This isn't a method where you have to invest a lot of money into it and we're gonna hit continue. And from this point now we need to uh, create our ad. Now if you don't have a Facebook page, click this link here at the top to create a Facebook page. We'll just stick with this existing one that I already have in there and we'll create the ad. Um, I recommend doing a single image or video. You can add the media, you can add an image here. You can either do stock photos, Facebook has stock photos in here already. So we could just do Let's just type in salon and see if we can find an image. You have to be careful about showing specific body parts with Facebook. Like if you zoom in too close on like a specific part of the body, like the teeth or you know anything like that, they can get kind of funny with stuff like that. So if they disapprove your ad, that could be why. So just keep that in mind. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna call it the city. Hey Brookfield, for a limited time, we're offering our signature facial for just $35. This is 49% off our normal price. Click learn more to book your appointment. Boom. Because we call out the city, because we give exactly what our offer is right in the ad, website clicks or landing page views work really great with this. You can put in a catchy headline if you want. All right. And you can also do a uh, description if you want as well and then you just put in your landing page URL here to click funnels and that's it and from that point your ad is done you scroll down you hit the save button your ad will run it takes a little bit to get approved and you're gonna start getting people over to your offer now this only works if you do step one correctly if you don't do step one correctly and you don't pick out a good offer that's already proven you're not gonna get good results with this but if you follow what I did in step one you're gonna get awesome results with this and you're gonna be able to drive customers into your business by yourself using just a simple little Facebook ad and a landing page. So I'm going to leave links below in the description. I'll leave a link to my masterclass if you want to take a full hour training on this. It's free to attend. I'll leave a link to ClickFunnels as well. That's where I build my landing pages. So uh, you want to get a free trial for them. I'll leave a link to that free trial. And I think that's everything. So anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop below and subscribe. Take the bell notification icon so that you get notified every time I release a video and smash a like on it. And if you're not following me on Instagram yet, go ahead and follow me there. My handle is at hello, Paul James. I post a lot of behind the scenes content and different content as well than I post here. So if you want to get the most out of everything, then you should go and follow me there as well. But until next time, guys, I am Paul James. We'll see you in another video. Peace out.